Hello everyone. Today, I'm going to be making a junk bot. This junk bot generator is courtesy of Bill Making Stuff. Uh, you can go to thegutterlens.com if you want to get one. It's just a PDF file. And basically, you, you roll a d20 die, and it's going to determine what kind of junk bot you build. So I'm just rolling through here, and then I will show you what I got. So for body, I got death. Kind of weird. We'll have fun with that. For the head, I got Cyclopean. I did not know how to spell it. Arms, spider like, gross. Hands, two handed, that's reasonable. Legs, triple jointed, that's that's gonna be fun. I'm looking forward to that. And for the flavor, <laughs> I got cutie. Aww. Should be a good one. So let's get started. Here I go. This is armature wire. Um, and a print spool, I think? I don't know what that piece was. This this shaft bit. But um, armature wire is different from the wire you get at the hardware store. So if you ever have to make a choice, um, armature wire is way easier to work with. I highly recommend switching it up. Getting the good stuff. It's, it's like seven dollars for real. It's not expensive or anything. Um, it's worth it because it keeps its flexibility. Very easy to work with. So this is that little round piece is just from an erector set. And I'm showing you my concept drawing, which is very bad. I'm sorry that you had to see that. Um, but yeah, I'm just kind of like weaving these legs through this erector set piece to give me a nice stable something or other to work with. And now I'm um, building a head. I need a cyclopean head, so um, I'm just using a cap and part of a necklace. And I gotta build this guy's head out a little bit before I attach his head, if that makes sense. You just gotta have something to fix it onto, so that's what I'm going for there. Um, this bit of foam, I, I just wanted to bulk this up. That foam is from a camera lens, I think. Not a lens, the uh, filter. So, it's a nice thick foam. I'm strapping it on, I'll see what I want to do with that later. Kind of looks like I'm making an angel at this point, I assure you. Um, it could be an angel of death, but um, it won't be, so don't worry. That's EVA foam. Again, I'm just trying to give myself a good surface to attach the head to. The head kind of looks like Kenny from South Park, but we'll fix that later. Now I'm working on the body. Um, Sharpie makes a good body. This is a highlighter. It was spent. Don't worry, I didn't sacrifice a brand new Sharpie for this. The way I build bee bots, um, it involves a lot of finagling, a lot of trying things out, see if I like how it looks, seeing what fits well. That's a marker cap. I stuck some more pieces on there when you were looking. And now I'm working on the arms. This guy will have two arms in addition to all these spider arms, legs. These are just for his normal hands. Standard bead bot stuff. Put beads on. Use copious amounts of glue so they don't just fall off. A lot of my beads just fall off. And now I'm cutting up fingers. Hands are hard, but um, this is my method. I don't know if it's a good method, but it, it seems to work for me okay. I grab a bead and I stick the wires in there and they're hard to glue to get them to stay in there but eventually they stay in there with enough glue and now I'm just drilling a hole for the thumb that will come out the side and it kind of looks like a hand and then if your bead has enough room you can just jam that on to your armature and you have a hand and again, lots of glue. Lots of glue, and um, you can use baking soda to kind of seal it in. Oh, 
looks all right. Do it again. So those are my hands. Uh, they, I need to cut the fingernails, but I got two of them. Check. Did that. This guy's looking pretty weird. Um, I don't know what that piece is. I found that a really long time ago and I've never figured out what to do with it and, and this seemed like the right application. So now I'm strapping down those wings. I'm making kind of a shawl. And that is part of a, a hair curler, I think. Yeah. Kind of seems like ribs, maybe. And now... These triple jointed legs. This took some thinking. I didn't... I had to count. I never made triple jointed legs before, so... I had to make sure I had enough. One, two, three. Yep, yep, got it. I cut that leg a little short. You always want to run your wires long. It's better to have too much than not enough. And that's what the leg likes... <laughs> that's what the leg looks like with all the beads on there. I think it's pretty good. I'm gonna put a lot of EVA foam on that later, but I got two legs and they're triple jointed, so that's good. So now I'm working on these spider arm legs. Spider arms, I guess. Spider like. I took, I'm very literal. I took spider leg to just mean spider. So I'm just making spider legs, but, but arms. I don't know. This is jute. Which is like rope. Ropey rope. And I'm just gluing it down. I think it'll be good texture. Kinda thinking tarantula style. I hate spiders. I, I don't like spiders. I don't want to think about spider legs very much, but... But these are spider arms, and they're only spider-like. So, I guess it's okay. And now, I, I want these arms, legs arms to have segments like um so they look like i don't know i didn't want to look at a spider i think this is what spiders look like but now they have little segments and this little piece i just needed a little back that was a, a curling a hair curler i don't know how hair curlers work <laughs> it's a piece that i attached to the back and this is a bit of cork that i strapped on there with a stir stick to keep my fellow's head tilted outward. And I'm jamming some UVA foam around the edges. Um, I don't know. I was kind of thinking like the the Minecraft pillager dudes. Like, I feel like they have these weird things over their heads. I didn't actually fire up Minecraft and look, but they ha it, it feels kind of like a tombstone or something back there, but maybe like a backpack. I don't know. I just like the look of it. And this is another hair curler that I'm chopping up to get it to fit back here on the back of this dude. And it's all about bulking this guy up because you don't want your bead bot to look like beads too much. This is mostly junk, I guess. Mostly trash, but you want to give it some, some shape, some bulk. These kind of look like ribs also, so I'm trying to stick with that death theme. A little bit of zip tie around the head bit. Starting to look pretty decent. And now I'm working on the back, whatever that is. And more, more costume jewelry. I used a lot of costume jewelry in this build. My boyfriend bought me a big box of it for my birthday, so I always have a lot of weird, fun pieces to work with. You can just get one off of eBay. Good stuff. More jewelry bits. At this point, I feel like this dude is becoming more of like a shaman. So I started thinking, like, what would shamans have? And that meant, like, dangly bits and jewels. So, again, more costume jewelry. I did stick a key on its back. That's a phone 
It's like from a, you know, old school landline phone. You know, I'm just kind of putting some dangly bits on this guy. At this point, I'm working on the legs. You can see him there. I just did a bunch of, like, EVA foam plating. And I'm, I'm touching a little bit of wire in here. It is technically still a robot. Um, I don't know if robots have religion. I feel like maybe if they did, it'd be because they were glitchy. Uh, I don't know if that's offensive. That might be offensive, but... Um, to robots, I mean. But this guy, um, he believes in a creator of some kind, and he's going to try and get the word out, so he's a shaman, he's the spiritual character in uh, this world. More beads! This is the greebly phase, you just want lots of detail, so... Just stick stuff on until it looks good. I got some more jewelry bits. Now I'm doing rhinestones as rivets. Because you have to. I'm pretty sure you have to. Um, it's not a robot without rivets. That's just how robots work. I don't know much about robots, but... I think if they didn't have rivets, they'd fall apart. Really though, it just adds some nice detail. So that's my dude. Um, kind of weird. Kind of fun though, right? I like him. So now I'm gonna make a little staff that my shaman robot will carry around. I found this little horse head uh, in a parking lot. I don't know what the heck it's from. I guess like a kid's toy. It seems like maybe it had pony hair and that it fell off. So I'll never know like what its pony hair looked like, but you'll see the staff later. That's what it looks like primed. Prime kind of brings it all together. Now I'm making like the happiest pirate flag. Actually, I'm just making a cloak that, that my uh, death-like robot is going to wear. And I didn't have any black fabric, but this turns out to be good. Like, if you paint fabric, it actually makes it really crunchy and stiff, so it, like, holds its form really easily. So now I'm just, like, baking in some wrinkles here, making it nice and wrinkly. And that's, that's a good look. That's, I like that. That worked out pretty well. You'll see. At this point, I'm I'm basically just like making doll clothes. I'm trying to figure out. Um, I don't I don't really know how to do this. I'm just winging it. it worked out pretty well. I need a hood, and I got a hood, and it holds its form really well. So I didn't even have to glue it. Just kind of squished it into place. Sweet. That's gonna be my eye. <laughs> and now, this robot, uh, it needs a diaper. That's what I felt like while I was doing this part. I was like, building a robot diaper to cover its robot dumper. It's, it's a little undignified. I don't know. I'm sorry, buddy. I don't know how clothes are made. I barely know how legs work. This is hard, but uh, I was just winging it. This is not how my clothes work. I guess if you had to assemble your clothes each day, like, maybe this is the process you would go through. Like, if all you wore was just, like, tarps. Or flags. That's my death body. Alright, it's time to paint. This is 
boring part. Hopefully we can get through it. I'm mixing up some green with a little bit of metallic. I don't really have a painting strategy per se. Um, I've watched a lot of people paint their miniatures and they do really well and um, I just pick colors I like and hope for the best. In this case, mostly blues and greens and that metallic, metallic-y silver. And I went with a darker green for some of the highlights, some little accents here and there. I don't really enjoy painting, I think it's because I'm not very good at it. This part, like, it, it makes a huge difference, but I just don't enjoy it that much. I kind of just want to get to the end. But it is exciting to see it come together, so... It's not that it's not worth it, it's just not my favorite part. You gotta paint your rivets. I decided to hit them individually. Now I'm just doing a dry brush. This brings out some of the highlights. Makes things look a little more defined. You can see how easy it is to position these legs. That is all because of the armature wire. I did a little oil wash just to make it look a little more consistent across the whole guy. And now I'm I'm modifying this um, this little nighty. I don't know. What do we want to call this? Wrap skirt? I want it to... My cat is scratching at the door. Sorry. Um, I wanted to like shred the edges so it would look really worn out. I figure like this, this robot's, you know, just walking around dragging, dragging his clothes all over the place. So it's going to be really beat up at the edges. So I just hacked away at it with a, with a knife. I did kind of a cross hatch, and then you can just tear away bits. I gave the hood that same treatment. Now she's crying. Now my cat is crying at the door. <laughs> Megan, stop! Please. I'm trying to work here. That eye, I tried to paint it like a Jigglypuff eye, um, I don't think it turned out very Jigglypuff-like, but it's alright. I used canopy glue, it dries clear. Megan! It's pretty cool. Alright, so now I'm working on the base. Um, I stuck some foam into the lid from like, I don't know, an oatmeal container or something. And now I'm gonna do some plaster, some plaster rocks basically. I kind of botched this honestly. Like I'm gonna show you what I did, but you should watch someone else do this because I did a bad job. I mean you can watch me, but like don't do what I do. I just made too wet of a mix. The box says 2 to 1 plaster to water ratio. It also said to use cold water, which I neglected to do. I used like room temperature water. It says use water that's like 50 degrees. I don't know if that would have made a difference, but this mix was just way too wet. And at this point I should have realized it, but... I was like, I don't know, I'm gonna trust the instructions. And I guess that was wrong. While you're waiting for your drying, it's a good time to work on your drawing. 
All right, so here it is. This is after like 24 hours of drying. It was still wet and I ended up having to bake it. And then it was really powdery, which made the glue not want to stick. It was just kind of a debacle. So I don't know. I baked it and waited some more and worked on my drawing some more. Um, I decided it's it made nice looking rocks, so I just pressed on even though it made me really mad. I just decided to stick with it, and I think it turned okay. It turned out okay. It just needs to be a base. Like, I don't know. How good does this thing need to look, really? It doesn't need to hold up to a bomb impact. And it definitely won't. Um, I broke the rocks off, like, I can't even count how many times while I was doing this, but... I threw down some dirt. Just PVA glue and dirt. Good old yard dirt. This is moss from the craft store. Give this a little bit of life. For my death bot. This is all made from jute. I just paint jute and then cut it up at various lengths. I don't have a static grass applicator. I figured this grass will look trampled and that's fine. Get some different colors in there, different lengths. Nothing else. It was pretty fast. Now I'm just doing a PVA H H2O, PVA uh, water, I also call that water, um, mix over the top of it and that kind of seals in all the dirt and goodness. And the last step, you gotta paint around your base. Make it look sharp. And then you're ready for the glamour shots. So here it is. Here is my submission to the Big Bot Bash, which no one asked for. Um, I really like how it turned out. I think it's pretty cool. Oh, I forgot. Hang on. One more thing. There we go. Now it's done. So thanks for watching you guys i appreciate it like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video and thanks to bill for making such a cool challenge